Hey guys, what's going on? Alex here with AGLX Films, and today I'm going to be doing a review on Jelly Lock 7. Jelly Lock 7 is a really cool iOS 7 lock screen for the brand new iOS 7 jailbreak. If you guys are probably familiar with the Jelly Lock for iOS 6, and it's a really, really cool jailbreak uh, theme or, or tweak that allows you to customize your lock screen to make it look like the Android's Jelly Bean lock screen. So here it is again. It looks uh, really cool because you can app to five different icons. You have your standard unlock, and then you have a cool feature which actually allows it to bypass. If you guys saw before that, I did have a by, uh, passcode on there. Um, and that when you directly unlock it, so I'll give you guys a closer look to it. Here it is. Uh, basically, what happens is all you do is a circle just like this, and you have five different icons. If you notice that when I go to my lock screen, after I regularly try to unlock it, and then I go to some application like a camera, you also have that there. And then I also go to an application that I want to use, uh, something like popular, like uh, I'm just going to go settings but or music. But if I go to music, it's going to bypass the passcode and allow me to um, actually... Uh, bypass the passcode so that way I do not have to enter the passcode every single time I want to access something. So one more uh, thing over here if you guys notice uh, there if you go into settings I'm just going to quickly show you the settings for Jelly Lock 7. Jelly Lock 7 is 100% free off the app store so I recommend getting this tweak it's absolutely amazing. Here is your kill switch the first thing you see is a Jelly Lock 7 and then you see a green kill switch you have must to you must have that enabled in order for anything to work and then you have uh, your respring button which uh, all changes require a respring so you want to keep that in mind so if you're thinking something's not working make sure to have that enabled you have your app icons which for number one they're clearly organized you have your system applications and then below that you have your user application that you get off the app store so you can put those on as well with the games that way you do not have to have them every single time somewhere so you want to have that you have up to five and then you have your skip passcode enabled remember keep that in mind that's the way I did it right there it's the best way to do it I think because that way you put your popular application that you normally access and instead of having to enter that passcode you know it's a great way of uh, bypassing the passcode over here you also have your appearance you can change your appearance you can uh, hide your camera but let's go and take a look at appearance in appearance you have the option to show your badges your blurry background and you have a landscape for the ipad uh, you have your circle color you have your uh, circle color you can choose between clear which is the default white light gray gray dark gray black red green blue cyan yellow magenta orange purple and brown you have your color uh, and their color circle or circle size which is another cool slider Anyways, guys, thanks for watching this. Guys, comment, subscribe for more videos. Bye, guys. Talk to my next one. Peace.